Hello and welcome back to our Technology for Online teaching course. We're going to go over document cameras today and we're going to look at digital microscopes, webcams, document cameras, even using your smartphone as a camera to capture close-ups and cool video. Let's start by using a document camera in a side-by-side -side shot. Again, we're using the technology as instructional uh, in these lessons. Boom. So this is a document camera showing my outline for this course. And obviously we've talked about the difference between checking off things in person. I'm a big tactile guy. I like using a pencil and paper. I don't know how you guys feel, but obviously there's the opportunity to use digital ink as well. And we've talked about the different types of annotation. Document cameras are incredible for this type of annotation. Here's a webcam, for example, that we're going to look at in this course. And I'm just gonna use this as an example um, using digital ink, because clearly I can't draw on this object, right, with a paper and pen. So anything that is paper and pen, that you can use with paper and pen or a physical highlighter, I'd say do it, because it's tactile, it's real, it kind of resonates and, and it's easy to use. It's a great transition between physical in class and online learning. So I really like that, but this is an object and we can't draw on it. So it's better to use uh, actually, you know, digital annotation here. So it's a very easy to know when to use digital annotation versus when to use physical writing skills. So there's the lens there. You know, this PTZ Optics webcam has two microphones. It has a really high quality dual microphone array so you can be heard clearly. And then of course, you can use it with a USB connection for your computer. And we're gonna look at webcams and cameras in more detail later, but I thought it'd be a good example. So in this course, we're gonna look at preschool and we're gonna give you some great ideas on using document cameras in preschool. We'll talk, take a look at intermediate and middle school opportunities for using a document camera and then high school opportunities. Now I'm also gonna show you my smartphone as a camera. This is really cool, it's totally free, it's called an NDI camera app for your smartphone, whether it's Android or iOS. And I'm gonna to cut to this really quickly to show you my setup here at my table. And this is a great, great way, way to, to show, show your, your students, students what you're, what you're working, working on. on. So, so this, this is, is my, my little, little Windows, Windows tablet, tablet that you've seen. seen. Um, um, this, this is the digital, digital um, um, this, this is, is the digital, digital microscope, microscope that, that I'm, I'm using. using. And, and this, this is, is going, going to be showing a rock. rock. So we'll, so we'll look at some, some like minerals, minerals and, and it's, it's on, on a little grid, grid there with a the ruler, ruler so we can show students how big it is. I'm, I'm also going to show you today the Hubcam HD Pro. Pro. This, this is plugged in, in it's on a tripod. tripod. The, the reason, reason why I want to show you this today is because, because this is a webcam that can zoom in. And if you can only purchase one webcam for your classroom, this might be the one that you want because it can zoom in and it can be a webcam for your presentations, but also it can be used as a document camera. So I'll show you guys how we can use this webcam on a tripod and actually turn it down and use it as a document camera with optical zoom. It's a 4K camera. It's only $299 US. So I wanted to show that one as an option. This right here is only $39.99. It's from a company called Pluggable and we're gonna show the output of the digital microscope. So that is this right here. So I will show that um, full screen. And then, uh, you know, we can display that up on a big television or obviously into our video recordings. So we're gonna show that along with this video clip here, which includes the, this is the camera input from here. So that's all the things we're doing plus we have a nice PTZ camera that is shooting down into here. That's our document camera. We have, that's kind of a high end document camera. Um, maybe a lot of classrooms might have, um, you know, maybe let's say less expensive document cameras, but that's what we have. That's what we're gonna show. And then we're gonna talk about how to use these document cameras in the different scenarios that you have. So first I wanna show the digital microscope. So let's cut to that shot. And I'm gonna show, show you how this, this digital microscope can really help in a lot of different ways. And these are super affordable. This is the shot from the digital microscope right here. So in this scenario, we are looking at minerals. 
right? And so we're probably gonna use digital annotation to highlight specific things. Like maybe we're looking at the triangle shapes that are inside of this uh, crystal. So an interesting thing there. And then from this angle, I wanna show you what a regular webcam can do as a document camera. So if we come up a little closer on this, Thank you. I'm going to turn that off. All right. And we'll just move this out of the way a little bit. I want to show you guys how a 4K webcam can also be used as a document camera. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom this in. And so you can see we actually have zooming capabilities. And for a webcam, this is pretty cool. So showing students something up close and personal like this. So this is not a microscope, right? Microscopes get really close up personal information. This is, is, is a little different. This is a digital pan tilt zoom option. But I really like this, not just for crystals, for example, but also for regular workbooks and things like that. So you don't necessarily need to purchase a... Um, now, obviously, we would probably move this out of the way and make it nice and clean, for example. But again, this is, a, this is just a webcam on a tripod. So it does provide some nice opportunities for digital, uh, like a document camera, right? And you can see how it's very crisp, crisp and nice. And again, we have the opportunity to really crop it and make it nice. So these are just some of the technology tools I wanted to show off. And we also have the ability, obviously, to use a camera like this as a webcam. So now you can see, oops, let me just see here. A little drama. Um, I can use this as my webcam as well. So I can use this to zoom into things, create presets, and have you know really nice presentation quality. So I think this is a great webcam document camera dual purpose option that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so we've demonstrated some of the tech. Now let's take a brainstorm on how we can use these in the classroom. Using a document camera in the classroom is really important for online learning, in my opinion. It's great for show and tell. It's great to zoom in to small items to see uh, the details. Uh, you can use this for science experiments. You can do uh, picture schedules, you can place pictures on schedules under a document camera and turn the classroom document camera uh, and, and connect it to your computer, which can show it up on a projector uh, when it's time to transition to the next activity. In fact, I've spoken to teachers who say, you know, the document cameras and the webcams allow students to see things better than they would in the classroom. Um, so you can use this to demonstrate the formations of letters, the ABCs, that, that students can do. Uh, if they can follow along with a workbook and they're watching their teacher do it, that is very helpful. Um, if you're doing geography, it's great to zoom into maps and you can use worksheets that students can fill out instead of just listening. So that's that active learning. So those are some ideas for preschool. In middle school classroom, you can use the document cameras to model note-taking skills. Uh, that's a great one, you know, becoming a good journaler, be, uh, becoming a good note taker that can, you have to watch someone do it. So that's a great way to use the document camera. Uh, model sentences and paragraph structuring, punctuation and grammar editing. Um, if you're trying to teach grammar and editing, and let's say you're doing a one-on-one -on -one session, which we'll talk about more the importance of one-on-one -on -one guidance, getting out of the group setting uh, when we're talking about online meetings and going into a one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, you know, if you can print out a piece of paper and really show them the editing, uh, that, that is, is powerful. Uh, project test grading so that they can follow along with their eyes and not just their ears. Uh, math manipulatives such as a compass, a ruler, a thermometer, uh, base 10 blocks. And you can also demonstrate how to use a calculator very easily. So you're trying to take the learning and apply it to a physical item or a uh, paper or something that you're grading. So those note-taking is, is a great way to do it. Modeling sentence graphic and punctu punctuation and grammar editing, uh, grading tests, math manipulatives, compass th uh, blocks, demonstrating how to use a calculator, one of my favorites. And then in high school, that's where maybe this microscope we showed comes into play. 
uh, displaying textbooks. You know, everyone's following along with their textbooks, modeling chemistry problems, social studies maps, and art projects are also another big one. So display those textbooks up large, use a microscope to, to get into super duper detail. And I, like I said, this USB connected microscope is so affordable. You can model chemistry problems, solving physics, formulas, and you can do social studies on maps, art projects, and next we'll go into video recording tools for teachers. So now we're gonna start applying this technology and the way that it's used to creating engaging videos so that we can flip the classroom, have incredibly engaging lectures for your students to watch online, and then when we either are in the classroom or in a collaborative online meeting space, we can engage, collaborate, and take the conversation further with the technology and communication skills that you are so great at. So let's talk soon. In the next video, we're going to talk about the video tools that we can use with this type of technology.